Hello folks, Marco here and today we're gonna take a look at the new Amarok 6 string guitar from Arle Benton. Now as you see this is a metal machine so first I'm gonna throw at you a metal jam but stay there because there'll be also funk and other surprises. Before checking out the instrument, it's fair to say that Arlie Benton provided me with the guitar, even though they didn't pay me to say anything, of course. So I am as unbiased as I can be. Actually, all the Amarok were sold out, so they sent me a B-stock. Let's go through the specs. We have a neck through design with mahogany wings, a fake wood body binding, a flame maple veneer, a five-piece maple mahogany neck, a 14 inch radius Makassar ebony fretboard, 24 jumbo stainless steel frets, glow in the dark position markers, draft tech task nut, grover locking tuners, and for the electronics we have two EMG retroactive pickups. Inspecting the instrument from the headstock to the body, I couldn't find anything to mention, even though it's a B stock. The only thing I can call out are some imperfections on the fretboard in the grains of the wood there are some white lines i don't know what it is uh, but they are not rough to the touch so it's more a cosmetic thing one thing that in my opinion makes a real difference with any instrument at any price range is the setup and in this one has been very nicely done fresh strings low action great intonation and tuning stability no complaints there other than that for this price amazing fret job with stainless steel frets EMG pickups, this very very nice bridge that may remind you of another brand. Now this is very subjective but one of the cons for me is the choice to go with EMG pickups. Not so much because I don't like the brand or active pickups, even though for what I understand these are voiced to sound more passive and less compressed but more about the price increase. To me, Arlie Benton are appealing for the low cost and for being very nice mod platforms. And so I would rather choose myself the pickups that are a very personal thing anyway and spend less money about the guitar itself. Plus the active pickup is less versatile in my opinion. Anyway, this doesn't stop you from achieving some nice results also in other scenarios.
everything here, the baritone is great, even for ambient. Actually, I think this is a perfect studio tool for adding some nice flavors to your compositions and productions. You have this nice low end that covers a very wide and different spectrum of frequencies. This is great for any situation where you have only one guitar maybe or wherever you want to add some low end. And if you're familiar with Mark Lettieri of Snarky Puppy, you know that you can achieve some very nice funk sounds. Now here the only limitations are the pickups that are not splittable. I tried without it, but I couldn't achieve the real proper punk sound. I made the thing anyway, playing with an octaver, that may be an interesting application. It's not the perfect funk sound, but it's pretty cool anyway, I guess. Let's see another scenario where you can use the baritone as a studio tool for your composition. So at the end this is a very nice instrument, it's a very great bang for the buck, you can't find anything with this kind of specs at this price range, and even though it's aimed at metal players, I think you can do more with it. Maybe getting different pickups and have a perfect studio tool, a real Swiss knife for your compositions. That's all folks, I shall see you in the next one.